Today I am taking my scraps and making the most awesome, most simple quilt block ever. No pattern, no big math either. I have never done this before. It can go totally wrong, but what the heck, I am excited, guys. So get your scrap pile and let's go. I am going to need uh, some strips of 1.75 inches by at least four. So let's see. This would be an option, but it's too white. I want it colorful. Maybe I have enough. I don't know. I'm going to start with what I have and we will see. Now, if you're very OCD about things being parallel and straight, this may not be the project for you. I love that each block looks absolutely different and that you can't make two alike. For me, that's magic. We need this to be 175 and uh, yeah, we got totally lucky. 175 right here and we need two strips of four. Four and a bit. I always like to give a little bit of a wiggle room. And this third one we want to divide into two. This is what we're going to need for one block, okay? Let me just uh, cut fabric for a second one because we are making two at a time. It's much quicker that way, much more practical. 1.75 by four inches in a smidge, something like this. We don't really need the third one to be exactly four inches. It can be a little bit less because we are adding a square to the middle. So if your third strip isn't as long as four inches, don't discard it, okay? It will probably be all right. As long as it's three inches, it's fine. In order to do our first two squares, there's one thing missing, which is the centerpiece, okay? We need two tiny squares that are at least 1.75 wide. It can be shorter, it can be taller. It just has to match that 1.75 in one of the measurements, okay? The other is totally up to you. 1.75 by 1.75. We're sewing them two at a time. We start with the center piece and then we go to the size. Let me show you. Okay, so first we have our center pieces, right? So we take this one with this one and we sew it together. Quarter of an inch foot. And then we do the same thing with the other one. So now we want to sew the second bit and the second bit for this one. And that's how we get our center strips. This is one and this is the other. Now we sew on the sides. We want to sew stuff together, and that's my favorite part of this project, how relaxed and loose it is. You just go into the flow, you know, we're working on two at a time, just adding fabric, picking contrasting colors, and just sewing them without any stress or concentration needed. This is one, it is going to be trimmed and pressed, okay? Don't worry, guys. And the reason why I always suggest that you make it a little bit bigger than four is because I want four inch quilt blocks. So if you give it a little bit of wiggle room, you may just miss the mark here and here. And once you trim it, it's okay. You had that extra space. But if you do it exactly four, then you need this end to match this end perfectly. Or when you're going to trim, it's going to be, you know, wonky. And then you'll have to make smaller blocks. And just like that, you make two very, very cute blocks. Okay guys, so these are our blocks, wonky as promised. I want four inch blocks, so all I have to do is trim off the excess. But if you make them like 3.5, you can actually play around with the center a little bit. Let me show you. So 3.5 is here, right? So if you push this to the side, you can cut it like this and the center will be a little bit higher. If you push it to the other side, you can make it lower. You can make, you know, all sorts of measurements if that's what you want. You know, whatever feels right and fun for you. For me personally, it is enough that no two centers are alike. I think that makes it whimsical enough and Mike the cameraman nervous enough. So I'm happy. <laughs> Guys, how easy and chill is this? I am loving it. We have two four inch quilt blocks ready to go. How quick was this? How easy was this? How relaxed? This is exactly the kind of project I was needing today. We have cut a lot of fabric. We have some that are ready to sew, like these that you see a different color square on top of. 
these are ready to sew, okay? These, on the other hand, are still waiting for their centerpiece. Just think of fabrics that are somewhat contrast with the base fabric. And this is kind of a challenge on its own, okay? We want small bits that are at least 1.75 wide, and we want them to be colors that work well with this. Now, you can just make sure that it's not the same color or the same fabric and just go with it. You know, be relaxed about it. That's probably how I'm going to do it. So it can't be the same fabric and it can't be very similar colors. Other than that, you're good. Let's keep making these vlogs. I'm not sure I'll be able to stop, okay? Because I just love making them. I am in the zone, guys. Oh, this is so cute. I did not do this on purpose, guys. There was no fussy cutting, but look at that. My favorite so far. Guys, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Sewing does not have to be complicated or time consuming. You know, the worst thing you can do to yourself is wanting to sew because you love doing it and putting it off because you don't have a lot of time. And in your mind, you need to make something very complicated each time you sew. That is not the case, okay? You can get your sewing fix anytime you want. Even making a simple, satisfying quilt block will do the trick. If all you want to do is sew to get in that zone where there is nothing else but you and the fabric. And this is definitely one of those projects, one of those you can make if you have just a couple of minutes a day to yourself. Now there are several ways to assemble this. We can just scatter them all around, you know, all the colors like confetti, or we could do what I'm going to try to do today, I may fail, <laughs> which is a color wash. Let's put it like that. So I'm going to start with one color and slowly, like a wave, it's going to wash into all the other colors. I'm not sure I have quite enough squares to give you the full effect, but uh, let's try it. And if you make a quilt, you know, a big quilt with these and decide to do that, trust me, it will look absolutely gorgeous just starting from one color going to the other like a huge wave of color Ugh. you know you guys have been asking me for quick and easy and this one right here may just be the winner and uh, i get it i do when we're really busy we want simple stuff we can make in no time to get our sewing fix on without ruining our schedule but more often than not the prepping alone you know even before you start sewing takes so long that we end up giving up well, not with this one. This is as spontaneous, as smooth sailing as they come. I am happy with my layout, let's sew. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something out of my nightmares, sitting right there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, but if I lay Okay guys, final row. I hope you're as excited as I am to see the final result. Let's finish it. This is perfect as far as I'm concerned. I am very happy with it. I hope you give it a try. It is the best sewing exercise I can offer you for some happiness and some magic. Thank you for doing this with me and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.